you really want the bag, this is like a Jordan release. You got to wait and you got to put it in your car and be ready to go. What's up you guys, this is your girl Kennedy and welcome to my channel. Today's episode is gonna be all about the Tell Far bag. I know you guys have been seeing it on your timeline, on Pinterest, on Oprah's favorite things list and so I just had to check it out. I copped two colors that I think are very, very nice and I wanna go ahead and do a review on the bags. Stay tuned to see what I think, to see if I like the bag, to see if you like the bag because believe it or not, I have not opened them yet. So this is a, a us thing, like we're doing this together. All right, so before I get started into actually opening up the bags, I just kinda wanna give a brief history of me and purchasing bags in the past. So first things first, I know all of us girls remember our very first designer bag, whether it had been Coach, Michael Kors, Gucci, whatever. My very first designer bag was actually Vera Bradley, and I'm from the suburbs, so a lot of the Caucasian girls were wearing these bags, and it was just a thing, so I got a lot of the backpacks. I even think that I got a lunch bag, and I never even used the lunch bag, but it was just because of the brand, so I was like, yeah, go ahead and cop me that, Dad. From there, I ended up upgrading to some Nine West, I was gifted that for my birthday from a friend. Her stepmom must have been filthy rich. Got me a nice big old Nine West bag and it was absolutely beautiful. From there, I ended up buying a little bit of Coach. Uh, I started dibbling and dabbling in that. And from there, I just loved Michael Kors. I was wearing Michael Kors between high school to college. I'm not even a fashionista. And I know, even I know that there is levels to the bag. I'm at the point now where I'm just ready for like that grown woman bag. Like I'm ready for the Gucci, the Louis, the Chanel, the Celine. But I came across Telfar and I was like, who is this designer? What is this bag? A lot of girls have been wearing these bags on Pinterest and just really rocking them. Oprah even ranked it like one of her favorite bags. I knew like, okay, you gotta get this bag. Okay, so I got the bags with me. I, I have not opened them. Like I only took them out of the big box because it's like, you guys don't want to see the big box. But this first bag is his small bag. And um, just to let you know, Telfar is a man. Um, he's a designer. Telfar has been actually here, I want to say for like a few years, like he's been doing this. But I believe that he really popped off last year because of all the racial tension that was going on. And there was a lot of hashtags and movements like, purchase black owned, support black owned businesses. So therefore his bag just really started to, his bag really started to take off after that movement. But okay, first things first, your girl got the red bag. Okay, all right, so I love this bag. Now the first thing I do wanna say is I don't like that it's flat. I'm, I'm be real with you tell far. So if you're seeing this, just, I don't like that it's flat. But I do like the bag, I do. So let me actually like take this off and all that. So got the like the long strap, you know, long strap. And if you actually hold it out, like fold it out and all that, I actually really do like it. I really do like it. Now ladies, I wanna be honest with you and be real. I thought this was real leather, but this is not real leather. So keep that in mind, but it still looks very, very nice. Like this is not gonna be a bag that I wear 24 seven. This is gonna be like my party bag. And I love the way that the, like it actually feels. It feels like real leather. I mean, it feels very nice and smooth. And like I said, other than it being folded up, it's very nice. This right here is the bag for brunch, the bag for the club. Like this is just, you know, your cute little, you know, little tote. You can't put everything in it. And then on the inside, and the inside is like the label. I hope you can see the inside. I hope so. But the inside, he's got his label established 2005. So yeah, he's been here making bags and making stuff since 2005. So so yeah, his small bags are 150, 150. And that is kind of crazy because like I said, it's not real leather, but I'm supporting my brothers. So I'm not even gonna complain about the price. Not the price, not the price. Um, it's not about that. It's really not. So yeah, got the red. Um, and I want to say this is not he has two different kind of red. So he's got like this bright red and then one that I want to say he calls like 
bloody red or something like that some type of other deep dark red but i had to get the bright red to stand out so i absolutely love this bag you're gonna see me take pictures with this bag when i finally start posting again on instagram so you know stay tuned i love this bag this is really 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 cute the medium size bag it actually looks pretty damn big um so i got the medium bag and i got this color and chocolate so I got this color in chocolate. Once again, it is folded. That is a turn off to me. But um, once you actually you know, push it out and all that, really, really nice bag. I'm probably not gonna get the large unless I wanna get like a bag for like the airport or when I start traveling or something. But I absolutely love this color. And let me tell you a funny story. Yeah, when he first even put out that he was going to have the chocolate bag, I was, I wanted it. I knew I wanted it. I'm like. I'm chocolate, I need the chocolate bag. Like this bag is gonna be very nice with everything. As soon as the clock hit nine, went ahead, refreshed the screen, put it in my cart, put in my number and all that, and it was just sitting there. Tell me why they kicked me out. I was so pissed off. That's actually what prompted me to buy the red bag and then go back and get this one once he reopened this because I know his game. And ladies, it's hard to get a bag because I know he's only releasing them a little bit at a time. So just know, if you really want the bag, this is like a Jordan release. You've got to wait and you've got to put it in your cart and be ready to go. His bags do sell out in minutes. That's crazy. But I absolutely love this color. Don't you love this color? I love the chocolate for a chocolate girl. I love this bag. Oh my God, I love these bags. I do. And I can't wait to rock them. So this is the medium bag and it went for, I want to say 200. I think his large goes for 250, if not 215, but just stick with the 250 in your mind because of tax and all that. Like, I love this bag. Oh my God. My overall review on his bags that I love them. Like, I love the colors that he has. I think I may cop his green one. That's the last bag. That's the last one because I don't support it. I got the small, medium, and then the large. But I do love his green bag. He's got like some silver and gold and like different type of metallic colors. He's got, of course, your black, your cream, um, a light tan. So he's got a lot of different options. But I love this bag. Let me know what you honestly think of his bags. Um, let me know in the comment section if you've even purchased the bag, what color you got, and um, yeah, definitely just leave your opinion on them. I love them. I rated a nine out of 10 because they came folded and that's it. I love it. I feel like you can definitely carry a lot. It's beautiful. The colors are nice. The, the texture feels great. I've got a nice like shine to it and I'm going to continue to support my black businesses. All right. So thank you guys for tuning into my video. Before you guys leave, go ahead and of course hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and click that like button and turn on your notifications because my next video is going to be all about how I was off of social media for a whole year yes a whole freaking year i want you guys to know what it's done for me what i think about the journey and if i recommend it or not so stay tuned